Hello and welcome to user training for the Cisco 7841 IP phone. Today we'll be covering basic use and functionality. The 7841 is a four-line phone with a backlit display and the option for speakerphone or headset use. Starting at the top of the phone, we have the display, which shows your extension and any features assigned to your phone, like intercom on this particular phone, and the date and time, as well as the soft keys. The soft keys change in function based on what options are available to you at a given time. An example would be that since the phone is not currently on a call, it shows the new call soft key. But if we make a call, now the new call soft key has been replaced by details and end call. This way the features you'd need the most show up on the screen when you need them. Below the soft keys are settings, directory, and voicemail, and the three most often used features, transfer, hold, and conference. Below these are speakerphone, headset, and mute. All the way to the left of the dial pad is the volume button. This button serves two functions. If you're not on a call, it changes the volume of the ringer by pressing the plus or minus. And if you are on a call, it changes the volume of the person you're talking to. To make an outside call in our example, you can lift the handset, press new call, or hit the speakerphone or headset button. Then dial 8 and the number of the outside caller. Welcome to Comcast Directory Assistance. To make an internal call, you don't need to dial the 8. Just dial the extension of the person you're trying to call. When you're on a call, the mute button at the bottom right can be used to mute just your end of the call. So the person you're on with can't hear you, but you can still hear them. This function can be disorienting to the caller, as they'll only hear dead air and may wonder if the call is dropped. Sometimes it may be worthwhile to give them some sort of notification like, I'm going to step away for a moment, so I'll put you on mute until I get back, so they know why the line is so quiet. Once you're on a call, you can see the call state and the time that you've been on. You can also see caller ID name and number if it's available. To end a call, just put the handset back on the cradle, press the end call soft key, or hit the speakerphone button. If you'd like to make an intercom call to another phone and have the speaker automatically go off hook, press the intercom button on the phone and then dial that person's extension. The phone will automatically pick up in whisper mode and allow you to talk to them via speakerphone at a very low volume. If they'd like to respond, they just press their intercom button. and a two-way full-volume speakerphone call will be activated. To hang up the intercom call, just press the intercom button again on either end. While you're on a call, you have several other options available to you. Hold conference, park, and transfer are the ones used in a majority of deployments. Let's start with hold. When you're on a call, just press the button with two vertical lines on it to place the call on hold. The caller will hear hold music and stay on hold until you press the button again. While they're on hold, they can't hear you and you cannot hear them. Hold is good if you'd like to step away but are coming back to the same phone used to place the call on hold as it can't be picked up from any other phone. To retrieve the call from hold, just hit the button again. If you'd like to be able to step away from your phone and get the call back at another phone, you could use Park instead of Hold. Park is available as a soft key when you're on a call. If you don't immediately see it, press the More button. When you press the Park key, 
The caller hears hold music, and the phone shows where the call is parked on the screen. The call will stay parked for two minutes before ringing back to the original phone. In that time, you can go to any other phone and pick up the handset or press speakerphone and dial the park number that was shown and get the call back. When you're on a call, you can also transfer directly to another phone. To do this, press the transfer button. It looks like an arrow pointing at a person, and the caller will automatically be put on hold. Then dial the extension and 8 plus the phone number if the person you'd like to call is on the outside. When the caller picks up, you can let them know who is calling while the original caller still hears hold music. Then press the transfer button again to complete the transfer. Conferencing is very similar. To conference a third person into your call, press the conference button. It looks like three people standing together, and the caller will be placed on hold, just like when you do a transfer. Then dial the person you'd like to conference in, and when they pick up, you can let them know who you're trying to bring in, and then press the conference button again. By default, even if the conference originator leaves the call, it will remain up until the last person is gone. On the other side of the phone, we have the settings button, which looks like a gear. This allows you to turn on and off the backlight, which is off for our demo, and allows you to set the contrast of the phone, among other phone-specific settings. Use the green ring to move up and down in settings, and the silver button to select them. One of the features you'll find under Settings is Call History. This retains the recent call history of placed, missed, and received calls. Again, use the green ring to move through them and press the Call button or the silver ring to call the number back automatically. The directory button, which looks like an open book, holds the corporate directory, which lets you search for any user in the Cisco system. Use the green ring and the silver button. Once inside, you can search by first name, last name, or extension, or just press the search soft key to bring the whole directory back. Lastly, access to voicemail is done using the voicemail button, which looks like a cassette tape. Once you press this, Hello, Cisco Unity Connection Messaging. You'll be prompted for your PIN, which will be provided by your system administrator. When you enter your PIN, the automated greeting will walk you through recording your name, a greeting, and changing your PIN. Once this is completed, you can access your voicemail without going through the steps again. Thanks for watching our Cisco 7841 IP phone training. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us or speak with your local systems administrator. Signing off, this is Ben. See you next time.